This video is for those of you that ask what shaders I use whilst I model. I've been modeling a while now and I have a few go-to materials I like to apply as I model. I don't like to work with a Lambert as it doesn't really help us see the quality of our surfaces. And we can't always see if we have pinching and uneven topology. So what I prefer to do is work with a Fong. Let's just get closer to this detail here. It doesn't look too bad and everything at first glance seems like it's okay. But if we go ahead and apply a Fong material, which you can get to quickly from the favorites menu when you just hold down the right click. And over here, I just have some presets. I will just apply the dark preset. You can actually grab these presets for yourself from over on my Patreon if you'd like to use the exact same ones whilst you model. Cool, so now as we move around, it becomes clear how bad and pinched this topology is. Having a shiny material of some sort helps any issues become apparent so you can fix them as need be. The issue we see here suggests my original mesh was too low resolution for the details I was wanting to add. You might have noticed that I had more than one preset. Having a few, if I just go ahead and apply another, allows you to add some more visual contrast to your models and helps with seeing your large, mid, and small levels of detail across any object, which is just another benefit of working like this. I also have some surface shader presets, which can be used to make objects look like they're glowing and bright within the viewport, which can be nice if you're working on a spaceship or well, anything that has lit up elements. To create a preset for yourself, it's really easy. Just go ahead and create a shader. I will just make a fong. Literally make it however you want. I'm just gonna adjust the color once you've done that, head up to Presets, save Fong Preset, and now you can apply it like we have been before, like so. As a bonus tip, we can actually use keyframes. For example, we could key the cosine power at frame one to be one value, and then on frame two, we can set it to something else. Now, when we're modeling, we can quickly hop between the frames to adjust the roughness. And of course, we could do this with the color or any of the attributes as you need. I hope this video shines some light onto my workflows and approach, just sort of how I prefer to work within the viewport. You can actually pick up my ready to use presets over on my Patreon if you would like to work with those. Also joining gains you access to the Patreon's only chat on Discord for a more one-on-one -on -one experience with me. So thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, be sure to check out some of my others, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.